My name is Damon Sands. This is my name sign. And I am playing the character of Oren. This is Oren's name sign. So before I worked as a wedding coordinator uh, for my friend, I was working that wedding and I was doing everything that I needed to do, fixing things, uh, being the coordinator. I kind of worked more backstage within the wedding the day of, making sure everything went smoothly. So that day, Rebecca, uh, she was at the wedding and I ended up meeting her and she saw that I was signing. But I, I was signing very slow, very gesture, look like a baby signer kind of thing to make sure that people could clearly understand what I was doing. And I was moving my mouth a little bit more exaggerated than I would normally. And so Rebecca actually, her first impression of me was that I was a hearing person. <laughs> and so when she met me um, at the end of the night after that wedding, she, she came up to me and she's like, are you hearing? And I just kind of looked at her. I was like, no. <laughs> like not even close, like, to not even close to a hearing person. I am definitely deaf. And so she was confused, and she's like, oh, I thought you were hearing. And so it was just a shock. It was kind of a funny moment for me, because I was over-enunciating my, my speech and my mouth movements. Um, so that's where we met. And then moving forward, we have worked together um, for my TV show, which is called Click, Click, Crop. This is how you sign it, Click, Click, Crop. So Rebecca's definitely very much involved with me and my passions, and we've become great friends in that. And we, we know each other inside and out. We have a deep connection. So we, it is fun to work together with her in this show. Um, but this show, we, we're kind of you know at each other's throats in this one. But it is, it is fun. And I'm like, girl, come on. <laughs> so we got her here. But yeah. My name is Nancy Worcester, and I play the role of Sarah's mother, Mrs. Norman. I do play the role of Sarah's mother, Mrs. Norman, and I approached her as if she were my mother because my own history with my mother was rather tortured and she had a lot of difficulties in her life. So I, I gathered a lot of things from my mother that I could use. I felt like the way that she couldn't relate to me is in many ways the way Mrs. Norman could not relate to her daughter. The difference being that Mrs. Norman tries really hard to overcome them, and my mother and I never did. I did know a little bit of sign when we started. 30 years ago, before I became a ventriloquist and was just kind of getting ready to go out on my own and do that as a living, I was making my extra money as a substitute teacher. And I substitute taught in the deaf class at Granbury Elementary School for six months. So I knew a lot of signs, um, most of which had to do with going to the potty or <laughs> sitting down and being quiet. But I did have uh, enough background that it was a little easier to pick up than it might have been for someone who didn't have any background in it at all. It's interesting because we started so early on this play. We've been rehearsing it for, I think, 900 years, or maybe it's just five months. But at any rate, it's a long time. I felt like those early days when we were doing a lot of acting exercises were like free acting exercises, I mean, free acting lessons for me, because I had never done Meisner or any of those techniques. So everything we did was not only new to me, but kind of fabulous and difficult. I am Stacy Okafor, and I play the role of Edna Klein in Children of a Lesser God. Mrs. Klein is a role that I never thought I would get. Um, honestly, I simply auditioned just to stay sharp. <laughs> so getting this role was a shock. Um, but I feel like our characters are very, very different. Ms. Klein is very tone deaf. Um, I try to be more aware of any room that I enter and, and aware of people's emotions and how I affect them. I think Mrs. Klein is very, uh, I would say, uh, ignorant, not intentionally, but she's just very straightforward and blunt. 
and she doesn't really uh, take into consideration other people's feelings uh, in the same way that I do in real life. 